Before I discuss the other methods, let us also quickly understand what are the accounting entries when we record depreciation in order to account for depreciation. The first method we will discuss without a provision for depreciation account, without an accumulated depreciation account. For charging depreciation, the entry would be depreciation account debit to asset account. Depreciation account debit, this is a loss and therefore is charged to profit and loss account. Depreciation account is debited because it is a loss in the value of an asset. Because the value of the asset is reduced, asset account is reduced. The balance sheet, when the asset is displayed in the balance sheet, it would be at a reduced value after reducing the amount of depreciation. So the first entry for charging depreciation every year at the end of the year, the entry is depreciation account debit to asset account. Next Profit and loss account debit to depreciation because depreciation is an expense and should be charged to profit and loss. So the depreciation account is closed by transfer to the profit and loss account. These are the normal entries that we pass for charging depreciation under the first method. Under this method, if this asset is sold subsequently after its life, after its useful life or at any point in time, what are the accounting entries? When we sell the asset, money comes in bank account debit to asset. Money comes in, asset goes out, bank account debit to asset with the sale proceeds. With the sale proceeds. Profit and loss account debit to asset account with the loss on sale. Taking our previous example, Suppose after three years, suppose after three years, we sell the particular asset. We have charged depreciation of 9,000 every year for three years, amounting to rupees 27,000 was the depreciation. The original cost of the asset was 50,000. Every year we charged 9,000 rupees 27,000 has been written off from the value of the asset and the value of the asset is now only 23,000. Suppose this asset is sold after 3 years for rupees 20,000. It means we have made a loss of rupees 3,000 because the value in our books is 23,000 but we were able to sell it for only 20,000. Therefore, the entry here would be bank account debit to asset account. The amount we received is only 20,000. With the loss on sale now, there is a balance in the asset account of 3,000. This 3,000 is the loss which is transferred to profit and loss account. Profit and loss account to asset account with the loss on sale of asset. When a profit and loss account is debited, we are talking of a loss. However, if there is a profit, then the entry would be asset account debit to profit and loss account. When profit and loss account is credited, we are talking of a profit. We are talking of an income. Asset account debit to profit and loss if there is a profit on sale. If this particular asset with a book value of 23,000, if it was sold for 30,000, then we would have made a profit of 7,000 rupees. So the accounting entries are extremely simple. The basic entry for depreciation is depreciation account debit to asset account. Depreciation is transferred to profit and loss account every year because it is a loss. Only in case there is a sale of an asset, again the entry is extremely simple, bank account debit to asset account with the amount of sale proceeds. Whatever balance remains in the asset account is transferred to profit and loss account. If the profit and loss account is debited, then we are talking of a loss. If the profit and loss account is credited, then we are talking about a gain. If the value at which we are able to sell is higher than the book value, the value of the asset in the books, then we have made a profit. 
if the value at which we are able to sell is lower, then we've made a loss. Let us consider an example. Cost of the asset 50,000 with a scrap value of 5,000 and an estimated life of 5 years. The asset is sold for rupees 25,000 in the middle of year 3. Assuming SLM or straight line method of depreciation, prepare asset account for 3 years. If we prepare the asset account for 3 years, first year we purchase the asset. Entry for purchasing the asset would be asset account debit to bank. Therefore, asset is debited. Year 1 beginning, asset account debited to bank an amount of 50,000. At the end of year 1, we would charge depreciation. Entry for depreciation is depreciation account debit to asset. So, asset account is credited. Come to the credit side of the asset account. By depreciation, we get 9,000. So that the balance now in the asset account is only 41,000. This 41,000 is what goes to the balance sheet in, the, in year 1. Next, we brought forward the balance of 41,000 in year 2. And again at the end of year 2, we charge depreciation of 9,000. Depreciation account debit to asset. Asset account is credited 9,000. Now the value of this asset is 32,000. 32,000 will be the value which is shown from the asset side of the balance sheet on account of this asset. Third year, again the balance brought forward is 32,000. But now in the middle of the third year, this asset is sold for 25,000. So in the year, we use the asset for six months, for half the year and therefore charge a depreciation for half the year of 4,500. When we sell the end asset, the entry is money comes in bank account debit to asset account. Asset goes out with the sale proceeds of 25,000. So asset account is credited by bank 25,000. The balance now in the asset account is 2,500. Basically, what was the value of our asset? It was 32,000 at the beginning of year 3. We charged an amount of 4,500. Therefore, the value of the asset is now only 27,500 is the book value of the asset, written down value of the asset. This is the value in the books of the asset. We have sold this asset which in our books has a value of 27,500. We have sold it for 25,000 and therefore incurred a loss of 2,500. This is the balancing figure here in this asset account it can be transferred to profit and loss, profit and loss account debit to asset account 2,500. We are debiting the profit and loss account. It is a loss on sale of furniture. This is how this is reflected in the asset account under straight line method.